I, we so appreciate that you shoot this fantastic show in Vancouver, in Canada, beautiful Canada. Oh, I can't say thank you enough to Canada. I love Canada. I was ready to move to Canada. I swear, everybody there has been so welcoming. The crews are incredible. Incredible. The the kind of talent you have there in Vancouver is just extraordinary. And for us to be able to come up there and honestly, during a very challenging time period, you know, we yes. shut down after three episodes and we came back and, and as a completely different group of people because obviously we'd all been through so much, but now there were all these incredible protocols that we had to follow. And we were very careful. We wanted everything to be done absolutely to the letter. The health was of everyone that worked with us was all we cared about. But just to have the Canadians be so nice and so just like, oh, they want us to put their masks on. Like, okay, we're just going to put our masks on. I was like, oh, Canada, thank you. So well, I really, cr I credit you with being why we were able to finish the show. This well, show. we so love that. You. We love that. And like I said, I mean, this series is so fantastic. It's so great. Congratulations on its success in season two. We're very much looking forward to, but I want to ask you, I mean, this show works on so many levels, but mainly because of the relationship between Jim and Brooklyn. They are so good. You can't buy chemistry like that. What I mean, is it like to watch them, you know, to have seen them from day one and now see where they've gone with this series? You know, tell me a little bit about working with them. Well, I have to say, even the casting process was pretty extraordinary because we tried to find, you know, who was going to play Brooklyn's father. We found Brooklyn first because, you know, we kind of knew that that's actually really hard to find a kid that young who can sort of do what we needed her to do for the show. So we found, we happened to find her first and then we were trying to cast who her father was going to be. And it was all about, as you say, chemistry. And we had to see the chemistry. And I think that a lot of men, in particular uh, American male actors, were not particularly interested in feeling like they were auditioning for an eight-year-old girl, um, which is fascinating. I was like, oh, yeah. look, that's an ego problem. Didn't realize that was going to be such a problem for the show. Um, so when Jim Sturgis came in, he was such a breath of fresh air because he was such a great actor. But also, he immediately understood that Brooklyn was like a kind of just an extraordinary person that he wanted to get to know and got right down on her level. They were making up silly handshakes. John Chu, who was our incredible director, was working ah. with them. And, you know, they were making up all these like silly things together. And it was like watching a father and a daughter together. And Brooklyn's real mother like turned and looked at us and was like, is he her real dad? And like, what? <laughs> why do they seem like they're so related? And I was like, this is so great. So we really, really got lucky. And then, you know, the two of them shooting together, um, along with the rest of our extraordinary cast, who is all like a family together, um, <laughs> Jim and Brooklyn are like best friends. Yeah. They basically want to form a band together. Like they're, they're absolute besties. They love each other so much. The second the cameras turn off, they're goofing off with each other. So you feel their chemistry. It's all real. It's just how they are together. And it really comes through on the screen. Uh, well, it is wonderful to watch it. We, uh, like I say, we are all so excited for season two. Uh, we thank you so much for, you know, for everything that you're doing. And uh, I look forward to hopefully talking to you for the next season two. Yes, thank you. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Take care. <laughs> Have a nice day.